Hi, I'm Parker. In this video, I'm going to show you three tips for Fusion 2.5. If you need any help with the things covered in this video, or have any tutorial requests, let me know in the comments. As always, the link for the source is in the description. It's simple to find out if a value is odd or even using a simple equation. It uses the mod function to find if a number mod 2 is equal to 0 or 1. So it looks a little something like this. If the result is 0, your value is even. If it is 1, then your value is odd. You can import whole sprite sheets as animations into your active objects. This is really useful for character and level art created in other apps. Insert a new active and double click it in the frame editor to open the image editor. Now click the import button or use keyboard shortcut Control plus O. Navigate to your sprite sheet artwork and press open. Now you'll have the import options dialog. In this dialog on the left you first want to check import as animation, then select the sprite sheet option. Input your block size per sprite on the sheet. For this example it's 24 pixels square. The bottom set of options allow you to choose which range of frames you would like to import and the type of import you would like to perform. For this example, I would select Replace Current Animation. Click OK to import your sprite sheet. To tween a value smoothly, you can use an equation to set the value to its target. This can be used for a variety of purposes and outputs a smooth gradient to values. In this example, we'll make an object that smoothly rotates between two angles. The object has two values, the first describes the target angle we wish the object to work towards, the second is the current angle our object is at. It will be this second current angle value that we need to smoothly tween. We'll base it on this equation. So for our active, that looks like this. After adding an event that adds 360 to the target angle every 3 seconds and setting the angle of the active object to the current angle, we will get the following. That's it for today's video. I hope you like these techniques and find exciting ways to put them into your games. Uh, until next time, take very good care of yourselves. Bye now.